again. Today we have uh, Asus laptop uh, for uh, this assembly. We have to open the laptop, uh, clean the thermal paste, replace it and clean the fans of course. Now I have video with uh, this exact same laptop probably a year and a half, pretty much two years ago. Uh, the laptop is still working fine but uh, the customer wants the thermal paste replaced again so either way we're gonna check how the laptop is uh, filled with this for uh, two years of usage so let's start we have some plastic things here on the ports Uh, most of the screws are loose, so it's a good idea to tie the screws from time to time. Otherwise, we have one missing here also, so Now let's use something sharp and just open the laptop. As you can see, or the camera can't focus, but yeah, the, the laptop is filled with dust. Both of the fans are clogged with dust. Let me try to zoom a little bit more. So the first thing, of course, we have to disconnect the battery. Be careful when you disconnect it, because those ports are a little bit fragile. Now let's remove the screws. We have to remove the screw also and I think we should be able to lift only the cooler without removing the fans. Move the cooler a little bit left to right in order for the paste to get a little bit loose and try to lift it. Like this. Uh, I don't touch the thermal pads, and that's the thermal beauty of actually, this not a, it's not a pads. So, <clears throat> now let's remove the fans, they are held by two screws on each side. As you can see, full of dust. The fans are working on 100% according to the customer, so I guess two years is, is even late for cleaning this type of laptop, especially if you're using it for gaming. Uh, 
Now give me a few seconds. I have to clean the fans with the vacuum cleaner and we'll continue. Now we did clean the fans, nice and shiny. Now let's clean the old thermal paste. I am using a dry Q-tip as usual just to so the old paste can stick and not go to the board otherwise we'll have a bigger mess to clean. And now with some alcohol we want to wipe the CPU and the GPU. Like I said, don't touch the compound on the on the chips, the memory chips. I don't replace it. It's not a thermal paste. It doesn't dry like the paste. So we have the cooler nice and clean. Now let's Let's add the new paste. Uh, first let's put the fans back actually. Just a second. It's easy to disconnect the cable, but since we are lazy, we decide to do it the hard way anyway. Every time people ask me what kind of uh, screwdriver I'm using, usually I use whatever it fits. I don't check what size should I use. In 99% I am using PH0. For the, for the smaller screws I am using uh, PH00. Basically those are the 99% of the bits I am using for cleaning and opening the laptops. I don't do Max so I don't use Torx and stuff. Don't put too much paste, otherwise you'll have more to clean next time. Now it may look a lot, but actually I think it's enough.
Now let's put the cooler back. Put it gently and just move it like this a little bit left to right in order for the paste to get even. And should be fine. Don't tie the screws all the way in, put them first and after that just Also tie the hinges because with the time the screws are getting loose and you don't want broken hinges. Make sure you did connect the fans. Now the only thing we have to do is just connect back the battery. Like this. Now let's check, does the, the laptop have battery? So we can test it. Pressing the power button, the laptop comes on. Let's wait for the picture because we did disconnect the battery. I have to clean the laptop on the outside. Yeah, we have picture. Now I won't show you the software because there's a customer information but pretty much laptop is loading basically that's the whole video so as we see you can see what's happening with the laptop for two years of decent gaming the fans was clocked and uh, the paste was pretty much dry so it's a good idea to clean the paste every year, year and a half, depends on the usage of the laptop. Basically, that's the whole video. I hope you like it. Bye-bye for now.